and welcome to my world. My name is Leslie and I am the author of the Chronicles of Dragondom and Beyond and I'm the creator of the tales of Dragondom and the worlds in which the characters exist, thrive and cause havoc occasionally. I know it's been ages since anything appeared. One might say I have lost, yeah, I have been lost in time and space. Yes, I have been juggling my daily job as an online spoken English tutor, doing business English and confidence building, teaching, public speaking and spoken English as a second language. And this I have been doing and juggling with my writing and my life. I have set myself a little time now that the heat of this summer is over to set about doing a series of dives into bits of the background into the chronicles of Dragondom and Aisha. Also what you might be able to expect going forwards. That will also include the why, the ideas, the sleepless nights, the trauma and enjoyment we all go through as a series starts to get its feet. So the ups and downs, the sweat and tears are all part of this crazy, beautiful world of a writer. And so where should I start? I'm new, the new kid on the block if you like, unknown and sticking my toe into the big, very big world where many flounder and simply disappear. Why? It's time to change. Many decades ago, I used to write. There was no such thing in those days as indie publishing, nor the internet, social media, mobile phones, nor home computers as they are today. I would sit with an old typewriter and tap away at the keys in the evening when things were quiet. Yes, I have rejection letters, loads of them. Still, I still have some of them, and they're all good as a learning curve. Just as a reminder to let us know how far we have come and how much the world around us has changed. I used to write short stories anonymously for magazines while I was waiting, hopefully, for that one day when I would get a letter that wasn't a rejection. Anyway, anonymously writing for magazines as well as ghostwriting for others. And think from children's stories to romance, paranormal, mini-series and horror, right the way across to just general fiction and fables. It was a good earning string at the time. Then life got in the way and family took over all my spare time. So the typewriter, the pens and paper, the paint brushes, the paints, all went into mothballs. But the love of playing with words and creating, weaving stories, never went away. A friend, now sadly passed, kept pushing and saying it was time to get back into it. To do what I truly love and this time own it. With my family all grown up and having flown the nest so to speak and now only me to argue with over how and when I work. I took up that challenge and threw my hat into the ring. What was there to lose? <laughs> the universe had hit me hard at that point in my life and I was trying to literally rebuild my life from scratch. Yes, I had my home, but I didn't have much more, apart from my dignity and my belief in myself. So, maybe it was time to try something different and go back to teaching as well, and to keep my sanity and to use my imagination to bring many of my characters from the paper which I still had to some sense of a series. Not trusting in others to assist me to get published and getting hurt yet again, only seeing my work used without permission. This time I determined to learn to do everything 
the way all indie authors do when they first start. Over the last five years I have learned to create covers, do the layouts and interiors of the books, proofread, edit, rewrites and plot, as well as world creations and characters. Oh, and before that I had to learn that a computer was more than just a glorified typewriter. Yes, yes, I had never used Google search, didn't even know existed. I'd never been on Facebook, didn't know Twitter or YouTube existed until maybe seven, eight years ago. Crazy? <laughs> no, I had become a total hermit. But what a beautiful way to create the outline of maybe 20 books, three series, which is what I have the outlines for now. Maybe more, who knows? It all depends on you, the people. Anyway, with the main character roaming through quantum time and space across the cosmos, what an incredible amount of diverse and exciting adventures can be created. Diving through the multiverse, flying on the back of a dragon while fighting alongside the elven warriors or the winged ones or serving on a space station or out at the edge of the universe in special operations unit helping to keep our universe safe from the archons or their soulless cyborg pilots under the evil direction of the brain or create magic with my teacher the wizard Dralinmer. Well, think about it. We are talking Dragon Dom, and he is their wizard. While on Earth, he may have well been known as Merlin. I leave that to you, the reader, to decide. So, on Facebook, as we move forward, my friend created the first Facebook page, Dragons of Dragondom. That was before I had even the first full draft of a manuscript. As the story started to come together, he would sneak bits and put them up, a way of pushing me to stop procrastinating, thus the tales of Dragondom and beyond, and later the page, characters and places from Dragondom and beyond came into existence, then the first toe in the water, and some stories put out to test those waters, so to speak. Any of you who follow on Facebook will have seen these. These, at the beginning of last year, became the young adult hardback version, which is available, but not on Amazon. I will cover those in another podcast, um, as they will be continuing, but only in hardback. Then, and this is the reason why, the confusion set in with things changing in the USA and the ability for a writer's creation who was doing YA to be banned simply on the whim of one parent. So as a newbie I decided to regroup and after much soul searching and having already purchased the ISBNs for the paperback and ebook version of the first YA book in the series I've mothballed them and literally went back to the drawing board to bring the stories, the books, up to a different level, to aim at just the 18 and over, so as not to get caught in the craziness in a major sales area. That brings us up to date, and with a new cover, new title, more story, and changing the first genre, caught between two worlds, is ready to go public. Yes, in paperback and ebook. If any of you would be interested in coming on board and becoming part of my team going forwards to receive a free PDF pre-launch copy to read and review, to help get the word out as a thank you, there will possibly be some extras which will not be out to the public that will be just for you. And should you wish your name in the acknowledgements in the next book and going forward if you stay on board a way of saying thanks each time 
to those who can help me in many ways, whether it is giving me different ideas on a character, showing me pointers where you, the audience, the readers, think I should develop something more or step back from something a little bit more. All of these things go into the melting pot which helps to create, as does you reading them and giving me a real review, something from your heart, how it makes you really feel. This is a call to action, should you enjoy doing it, and it would allow you to stay with me, if you wanted to, in this capacity, across the entire series, and as I grow, so will your own free gifts <laughs> for your assistance grow. The incoming muses. I will delve into characters and background in writing the worlds. These will be in general, with two other deep dives being done separately, as each story is multi-layered. And while some may simply enjoy the fantasy science fiction layer of the stories, others may be drawn more into the philosophical and metaphysical layers. Anyway, any questions posted or sent will be added into Q&A series and published, like this opening one. So, if you have enjoyed, please hey, give me a chance. Follow me, then you'll know exactly when these things are coming. As I said, you can message me, you can PM through the Facebook pages, or you can send me an email or put something underneath the video or under this podcast, I will be told. And let's get this ball rolling. I actually am quietly confident, extremely nervous, as always when you first put your child out into the world, but at the same time extremely excited. It's been a long time coming, and it is such, such an exciting future. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you will come back and listen, watch, read and be part of this exciting new adventure. So, goodbye for now. <laughs>